What is up everybody? This is Supersite and welcome back for one of the most important heyday videos I am ever gonna make and I really mean that this episode uh, this video has like literally the calculations that I've done for this have taken hours and hours and it has been the hardest video to ever make per se. Now I've got so much information, I would say more so than any other video, uh, ready for this uh, video so I probably am going to miss some out and I'll be like no because then I'll have to like write it in the description or answer your questions of things I should have said but I'll try to remember to say as many things as I can. This is so full and it's all dedicated to wheating and not just wheating but also corning. Now you might say, wow, that's a corny joke, but what I mean by corning is the same thing as wheating, just you, I'll be using uh, corn instead. Uh, there's ne I've never really seen any, I've never heard any Heyday player ever use the word corning before, so uh, I, I'm sure someone has, but I'm just going to uh, use it and say, because everyone talks about weeding all the time, you know, the weeding this, weeding that, but I've never heard anyone corning. Like, I've seen a couple of players doing corn, uh, so actually I've seen players doing corning uh, per se, but uh, the weeding is one of the, the main things. Okay, right, so I'll start by spinning the wheel, uh, and also I have finally unlocked the, uh, I'll show you in a second. Right, so we got a mallet, which is awesome. Okay, now we're going to go down here and unlock the net maker. Right, so it's right there, just waiting to be opened, and this might be the thing that pushes me up the next level. Here we go, here we go, boom! And as well as unlocking a beautiful net maker, we just leveled up to level 31, which means that we unlock the tuxedo cat, the white bunny, the tomato juice, the berry juice, bunny house, campfire, bird bath, three awesome more fields. I love fields. Okay, going back right to tomato juice uh, produced in the juice press. Unstarred, it will make you 21.6 coins per hour. And the berry juice, also produced in the juice press, will produce you unstarred 25.2 coins per hour. So the berry juice is longer, even though the tomato juice, juice is shorter to make. Right, and we have the net maker, and fantastic, absolutely. Now you can create fishing nets, just place them in uh, fishing spots, wait, and come back to re reap rewards. Right, and uh, we can try producing mystery nets, but, uh, oh, we get, here's one for free. Oh, we got one, for, that's awesome. Sweet, okay. Hopefully we get, oh, okay. So we're definitely not going to make them uh, five diamonds, and uh, I've, I think I told you why in the other video. It's definitely not worth it. Anyway, we've got our first nets uh, producing. Uh, I'll just do that. I'm not going to bother this uh, video and getting everything running because we've got so much to cover. Uh, all about waiting, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go around doing all the other stuff. Right, so first of all, I'll just see if I can find anyone waiting. Now, there's so much wheat in the newspaper, as always. This is a perfect example of someone waiting. Right, so they've got plenty of wheat up for sale. Ten for one is the standard price, although the market would suggest otherwise with all the 36 ones. Uh, but this guy, what he's doing, so basically what weeding is, is it is the continuous planting of wheat, harvesting wheat, and then selling it. Uh, generally for cheap, there's some players sell it for uh, 10 for 10. You, you just cannot sell it for 36 coins uh, for 10. So generally, the most common form of weeding is selling it for one coin for 10, uh, all the way up to about 10 for 10 is about the, the price range at which people will still buy in a reasonable amount of time. So as you can see, uh, it's not going to get ready because I'm at his farm, but it will be getting ready, and then what he'll do is he'll then uh, sell it. For example, if I follow him and then I go home and then I find him on the friends tab uh, level 70 something uh, was no not that guy uh, right there okay, so Chang we we'll go back to Chang and as you can see it's all gone and then if we go back home uh, see and this is full so if we go back home and then go back it might be planted maybe maybe not uh, as you can see yes it is planted so he is doing wheating uh, which is the constant uh, you get the idea it's just you, you're trying to uh, grow lots of wheat and then sell it and grow wheat uh, uh, and sell it. Now, why do you wheat, you may ask. Now, some of you, I'm sure, uh, will know a lot of this. I'm um, just going through the basics, but I will get much more complicated at the end of the video because I've got so many great calculations for you lined up. Right, so the main reasons for wheating, there's a few. Uh, one of them is getting XP uh, because it gets you so much XP, you get, uh, right, so I'm going back to Chang, you get uh, one XP per wheat, and as you can see, imagine that it's like one, two, three, four, however many fields he has, I don't know, it might be 50 or 60 fields right there. 
there. Uh, yeah, probably probably 60, uh, over 60. Anyway, that's 60 XP every two minutes cause, uh, because like it's one XP per field and it's going to take two minutes for the wheat to come through. So you get tons and tons and tons of XP. Also, another main reason that people do it is for materials slash tools uh, kind of stuff. Now, there's different tools that you can get, uh, and so this is a big, big reason why many people do it, because they get expansion tools. Right, so what you can get from it, you can get planks, bolts, tapes, panels, screws, nails, dynamite, TNT, shovels, pickaxe, deed, mallet, marker, axe, and saw. So, uh, I'm not sure, I think that's about, I don't know, uh, let's say about 15 or so, uh, different things you can get. Uh, and so there's a whole heap of stuff and people want to upgrade their barn or their silo So it is a brilliant way you'd get far more um, wheating getting products than trying to find them in the newspaper Because generally people just don't want to sell their uh, those kind of tools that they want to keep them They want to use them in the mine. They want to upgrade their own barn and silo uh, and fair enough or expand their own land So people don't generally sell them. So this is the best way by far to make your own ones uh, materials they come at a phenomenally quick rate and so that is the thing. Right, now, lots of people think, so it comes to wheating and they're like, oh, yeah, it's great for XP, yeah, it's great for materials, oh, but not coins, it's terrible for producing coins. That is wrong. And I'll tell you why. Now, coins, uh, so you, you, you for example, uh, let's assume that you, you're making it and then you're reselling it at... Uh, Let's say uh, you, you're doing the, the, the classic 10 wheat for one coin. So uh, it, it doesn't sound like it's going to make you many coins because you're not making many stacks and then you're just going to sell it for an absolute... Uh, sorry, absolute minimal uh, profit. Right, so now that is, of course, true. You're not going to get much from uh, the one coin, uh, but eventually it would add up after two minutes, but it's not the actual coins from this selling the wheat that you're getting. The coins you're getting is from the tools, and you're getting so many tools so quickly that wheating Either, this is like a big shock to most people, but this will surprise you, well, most people, that wheating, even if you're selling your ten, your stacks of 10 for one coin, is the most profitable thing in all of Heyday. It will make you more, um, more coins than any other thing in Heyday, more than any machine or any other crop. Uh, I'll sort of go into detail because there is corn and it sometimes does make more profit than uh, wheat because you can sell it for 72, but I'll go into more detail about that. Now, sorry if I do have a few pauses in here. I have got a sheet of stuff that I've uh, made some bullet points about the stuff I'm going to talk about because there's so much stuff to talk about weeding, and so I don't want to miss much important stuff because this here is literally going to... this The, the calculation, uh, it, was, it was such a complicated formula. It took me hours to make it right. Uh, to make a really good one that well the, the one that is right the one that works it took me hours to do and I'm not saying that to be like oh look I've done all this uh, for you because I, I have done it for you guys but it's just the fact that it, it was this is like what I'm most like I'm like wow like I did this like this is probably one of the things I'm most happy with myself for doing because it took so long and so for me doing this has been like the the most almost the hardest thing I've ever done calculation wise uh, and yeah yeah, any because it took so long and anyway it's great right so uh now i'm just going to read over the notes about what is in this thing right so uh, self one coin Right, so now the question comes down to because you get the lots of, you get the coins from uh, from selling the, the tools uh, or keeping the tools. That's where most of the value comes from weeding. Right, so let's assume uh, we're going to assume that the tool value is two hundred and seventy. That's what I've based my calculations on, and the reason being that I'm assuming it's two seventy is because uh, there's about the fifteen things you can get from harvesting the fifteen different uh, tools. You've got the plank, bolt, tape, panel, screw, nail. Dynamite, TNT, shovel, pickaxe, deed, uh, mallet, marker, axe, and saw. Right, now, uh, and so I'm going to assume that you'd get them uh, on an average basis, one of each. So, for example, every 15 harvest, you would on average have got one of each of those things. I'm not sure if that's exactly correct, but it would be fairly around that, uh, that thing. 
Right, so now for for all building and uh, building materials uh, upgrading that. So for for all three of them and for all uh, three of them, they're all worth two hundred and seventy coins. Right, and then you've got the dynamite, which is worth. Uh, this is uh, if you just sold it straight away. If you converted it into ores, it would go more. But some people might not want to do that. So assuming you just sell uh, the di all the. Uh, so for example, the dynamite. If you sold it straight off, that would be worth twenty five coins. TNT straight off seven. 22 coins, shovel 108, pickaxe 126, deed, uh, mallet, and marker, all 300, and, uh, no, sorry, 403, and the axe and saw, if you sold them directly, you'd get uh, 36 and 54, but assuming that the person took the time to uh, get the profit from the trees, that's f uh, approximately around 500 coins each. So the average is around 270 per tool, uh, assuming that you're just selling the all the uh, mine tools, uh, and the average Average comes to about 270. It could be slightly uh, either way, but we're going to call it 270. Right. So that means that uh, when you're doing all the the weeding and that, and you're getting the tools uh, lot, you're getting a ton of tools. So you're getting 270 coins worth each time you do a harvest. Right, and so then uh, you've got the corning and the wheating, and you might ask, well, which one's more profitable? Now, it's, uh, right, so I'm just reading my notes again. Sorry, there's just so much to remember. Right, so I guess it comes down to, uh, right, so we've got, uh, right, um, okay, right, so this here is, I'm uh, sorry, it's just really, there's a lot of stuff, and I want to get it right. Okay, um, uh, right, so... Right, so it comes down to the value of tools. How much are the tools worth? Now, it is true that from level 30, uh, level 30 onwards, if you sell wheat at 10, 10 wheat for one coin, then selling corn, corning, so the, the constant planting and selling of corn, will actually make you more value. So from level 30 onwards, so from level 30, because it's been, oh, well, right, so I've just, uh, so technically right now, uh, so I'll just put these uh, awesome new fields out. Technically, from now, if I could do corning or wheating, uh, monetary-wise, assuming that I was selling all my tools and selling all the corn for seventy-two coins per uh, every uh, for, per ten stack, and or I could sell ten wheat for one coin, and including I was getting all the tools, then it would actually be more profitable to do corning from level thirty onwards. Which is, it's a big surprise to most people. Well, I get, it might be, it might not be. But, and so then, from then, it's actually more profitable to do the corn. Right, so, but, that, uh, there is the argument, and so then you could say, well, corn's great. It's less work, because you only have to re redo it every five minutes in that, and you get more profit. Now, that comes down to your perception on the value of tools. Now, sure, the game values these different tools, like a plank or a bolt, at 270 coins. That is the maximum price you can sell it at. But... Uh, and so then, if you were to sell everything you got from either corning or wheating, and you are selling the corn at 72 uh, coins per the 10 stack, and uh, 10 wheat for one coin, it's actually, from level 30, more profitable to be corning, uh, assuming you're selling everything, and the average uh, of the, the values of the stuff you got off uh, from the harvest reward um, would be 270, it's more profitable to do corning. But that is assuming that you are agreeing that the, well, it's true, the average value of what the game values these things at is 270 coins but that is that is the, the game's view and value of the plank and the bolt and the duct tape and any other thing in my opinion for me a plank is worth far more than 270 coins I'd be easily be willing to pay a thousand coins per plank and I'm sure many uh, uh, not sorry uh, yeah 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 per plank and I'm sure many of you would be as well it's because uh, the uh, how the market works that you're only allowed to sell for a a price maximum of 270 coins that we value at 270 coins. In reality, it's worth far more than 270 coins. Let's say that they removed that and so you could sell it for any price you wanted 
converted up to a thousand coins rather from uh, one to 270 from one to a thousand many people would sell it at a thousand coins and I'm sure almost every single one at a thousand coins would be bought uh, assuming that the max price was a thousand which means that the actual value of these is worth more sure in coins they're worth 270 but they're actually worth far more and so then since uh because for example uh, we seen you uh, we didn't you get almost all of your value uh, in your profit from the tools you get because you're getting so many tools where you're virtually getting nothing from selling 10 wheat for one coin. That's pathetic. Whereas with corn, it's far more balanced because you're getting 72 coins per 10. And so it, it's for a coin, I'm not sure if it's more, it's certainly far more heavily skewed towards the... Um, the actual selling the corn itself than the tools it gets because it's it's a, it's about the corn whereas the wheat is about the tools uh, it gets and remember that uh, corn only uh, it cycles every five minutes whereas uh, wheat is every two minutes so with wheat you're getting two point five times more uh, tools than corn and so as I said from level 30 onwards profit wise you if you are selling everything you're making more doing corning but if you value these more than 270 coins and you're doing it for uh, not so much coins but more so for the materials uh, then actually for you if these were worth for example a thousand each then the average uh, the average for example rather than getting 270 coins worth off the field from that that getting that tool which is worth on average 270 you're getting a a thousand worth and so it becomes it comes down to what do you especially if you're going to upgrade your barn and silo how much do you value these and almost everyone would agree that these are worth far more than 270 each hence they always buy them for 270 and would happily buy them for far more and so then value wise if you're actually using the things you're getting because you value you'd rather use them than sell them then wheating is better because you're actually using the and and they're worth more to you they're worth far more than 270 so wheating is better because it's getting you heaps of them sure it's not getting you lots of uh, coins but in, in a way it also is because uh, yeah corning isn't that much more profitable there's a special figure it's about 1.18747 seven times more profitable profitable uh, than wheat from a cert from level 77 onwards uh, but I'll go into that a bit later in the video but for you these are worth far more than um than the actual coins but for example by using these from getting them yourself you actually are still saving the 270 coins that you otherwise would have had to spend in the market to buy them so you are still saving at minimum 270 coins from not having to buy them instead you're getting them so although you you might not ever see the coins appear in your little coin thing up here uh, where the coins are you actually you have got those coins you're just immediately spending them so you never see the exchange so you sort of never really assume you've got them but you, for example if you were to sell all these you would get that value uh, 270 times all those combined uh, and coins back but you're using them so you never see the actual coins come through but actually you are still getting 270 coins every time you receive a tool off the field you just don't really realize it because you're not selling it so at minimum you're still getting 270 but in my value and many of your values especially if you're upgrading they're worth far more than 270 170 hence wheating is worth uh, is far better because you're getting the tools you want the tools not the, so much the coins although you're still getting the coins just in a different sense right so that is uh that now that there, there is one thing that i haven't quite factored in and that is the fact that uh wheat uh, wheat takes uh, a while, but it, it, I'm not including the replant time. So uh, that's assuming that you're constantly, every second, the minute uh, the, the two minutes was up and the corn was ready, it would go on again. Now, sure, you, you sell it when it's growing, but there is that slight delay in the time in which you harvest, like so. See, this is taking a couple of seconds, and then by the time you uh, replant, uh, like that might have taken, I don't know, maybe maybe five seconds or so, and then in that time I can go ahead and sell them. But there is that, that slight delay which uh, over hours will actually add up because that's five seconds every approximately two minutes uh, that I'm not growing. And so wheat is then slightly more or less uh, profitable. Same with corn. Uh, corn, you have to do that as well, but you have to do it 2.5 times more with uh, wheat because you're doing it every two minutes, whereas corn, 
you're only doing every five minutes. So you do lose uh, 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 not that much time, but that that is a factor that I will admit I haven't factored in for. I haven't bothered timing how long that takes. I've just assumed that you're immediately selling it. It wouldn't make that much difference, but I'm just letting you know. So if you want to do your own research stuff, you know that I haven't factored for that. Right, so, um, now, and, that, and this is the most, uh, like, the astonishing thing for most players, that did you know that wheating, I've told you this already, but did you know that wheating and selling 10 wheat for one coin still makes coins faster, that, like, besides, you know, the corning, where, you know, we went over that, but it makes coins faster than any other method in heyday. Who would have thought, you know, you say, oh, well, uh, yeah, for example, even if you didn't even want to keep the tools, like so, it would be so much, it would just, it just to make coins, you might as well go weeding or corning, and then just be selling off the tools. It makes so, you know, people say, and, like, even if you're selling the wheat for one coin per stack of ten, you, uh, uh, except for corning, um, you're still making more profit than any other tactic in all of Heyday, because you're getting so many tools, and those t tools are worth so much. And so then you're just selling off the tools, and you're actually getting more coins in any other way. Like, for example, there comes a, a point, uh, which happens to be, uh, I'm not sure which level, I'm about to, uh, to, to uh, I've got it listed somewhere here, and there's a, there's a point in which every single harvest you do earns a tool. So, uh, as well as, uh, for example, earning the, the minuscule amounts from, uh, sell, see there's some XP, but as well as earn, earning the minuscule amounts, from um f from selling the wheat at uh ten for one coin, you're also earning two hundred and seventy coins approximately every two minutes from that that constant uh like because you get that tool and then you sell that tool uh and so two hundred and seventy coins per two minutes is actually statistically brilliant in heyday it's like the highest you, you you get you don't get any higher than that you you know uh like for example what what was the the berry the tomato juice 21.6 coins in a whole hour that, that and that's like i don't know the average product let's say that's terrible if you think that in two minutes you can get 270 coins just from harvesting wheat and selling a tool like seriously, it's it's way way more profitable uh, doing weeding or corning than any other thing. Uh, but I definitely say weeding because normally you'd want to be upgrading this. Uh, you, you're also getting more XP, and that that's on the assumption that you're selling ten coin, uh, one coin for ten. Uh, but you can sell more, and there actually is a point at which it is more profitable. It any single level, because currently, from level 1 to level 30, it's more profitable to wheat, even if you're selling 10 coin, uh, ten wheat for one coin, uh, it's more profitable than corning, that's, that's a fact. From level, uh, like, 31 onwards, then it, um, it's more, uh, I'm not, maybe it's level 30, sorry, uh, it's more profitable to do corning than wheating, uh, if you were sell if you were doing it purely, purely for profit and selling all the tools and the, the, the wheat for 10 coins for, uh, 10 wheat for one coin. Now this is, this is the, uh, the, the special number in which it makes, uh, wheating always more profitable no matter what. If you sell the wheat at a rate of 10 wheat for 8 coins, at eight coins for the ten wheat, it becomes uh, it, it hits a point at which no matter what level you are, if you're at level four hundred or four hundred and twenty or five hundred or hundred or whatever, any single level in the game from one to 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 however high you can go, it is always 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 more profitable to do wheating no matter what because when you're selling it at um at eight coins per ten those seven coins per the two minutes make up that well not no it's it's more than that because it's uh that would be one stack and so those seven coins well like it's not just seven coins but it's the difference from selling ten wheat for one coin for uh, and 10 wheat for 8 coins is such a big difference that no matter what point in the game, wheating will always, always, always be more profitable. Uh, and so, for example, if you, uh, I'd, I'd recommend doing wheating. Uh, wheating's, uh, in my opinion, better, especially for my uh, playstyle, because what you do is you're constantly doing that, uh, and then you, you quickly harvest it, you then put them all in for sale, and then you have a, just a quick, uh, quick look like this. Oh, see, like a bolt, I, I'm full, so I can't can't buy it, sadly. Uh, I should probably go back, but I know it will be sold, probably. Okay, anyway, we'll just try and get it. So then, uh, in the meantime, while it's growing, you have this spare, like, couple of, like, uh, oh, oh, no, definitely gone. Okay, right, so, um, 
what I do is I like harvest the wheat. I then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to show you actually. I'll have to first uh, sell off some of these. I just want to make sure that everything in the video uh, gets in. Right, so I'm going to sell off some tomato. I'm just going to make plenty of room for my weeding tactic, and then I'll show you uh, wh what I do uh, weeding wise and, and what what a regular uh, regular like if you're wanting to make a lots of uh, getting the the land uh, the getting all the special materials like the planks in that. Uh, what's the best way to do it? Right, so uh, let's. Uh, so we we harvest like this. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, I just want to make sure that I just have enough to get rid of uh, that enough. Okay, so we, we harvest this right. Okay, so starting from here, and then we go like we harvest that right. So we plant the wheat like so, uh, and then we have all our spare wheat. We have like uh, six. How many fields do we have? Uh, fifty one. So we have to sell off about fifty one every video, uh, every uh, harvest. Right. So then I I'm gonna sell it for one like so. I'll put that one for advertisement. So I just go like. This this like this and then I just put all these to one and then uh, while the other things still growing right <clears throat> and so I'll just do like a, a, a couple minutes of this okay right so we, we put all this uh, down to one and then we have plenty of room okay now we have our quick look assuming that it had refreshed through here while this is still growing so that only took us like uh, 30 is 30 seconds approximately to sell that which isn't long uh, right and so then eventually this will refresh and then in it we we look at the uh, oh so not has hasn't refreshed right so waiting for it to refresh uh, and so then you, you look at it in refresh and see even with with two minutes you still got plenty of time you know five minutes with the corn gives you longer but this here is still fine right so still waiting for that to refresh right so uh, we look through it quickly uh, don't even have to look there's not that much time pressure right so we could buy that we don't really want that so we have a time we can go hunt for some revives uh, right there we go right there was one okay and that's done right so we come back and they're still growing so we still got 45 seconds Seconds, and then right so these are all sold out uh, normally I hold back uh, my uh, the the free advert for uh, until I have like half full at least right so then this is still growing and then when that's ready we'll quickly harvest and then we'll, we'll put some more for sale right and then we have the two decorations right there okay so now some statistics for you uh, uh, wait actually I would probably wait the 20 seconds I'll just get rid of her and her right so I'll wait the 20 seconds and then I'll have like two minutes to talk again and then uh, I'll be uh, getting hopefully some tools oh I know, I know why okay so I need to sell uh, you cannot have a full barn to collect tools so always make sure uh, that you have enough room to collect tools okay so hope I think that would probably mean that the first one I do let me tool maybe yes yes see See, that was like, I so called that. Okay, anyway, uh, I'll show you how, well, I'll end another, I'll be able to eventually tell you, uh, how you know there, there's a pattern thing right so then I quickly put that in see that might have taken five seconds or less uh, to, to do that okay because uh, right now it's growing so it doesn't count uh, towards the, the the missing time okay right so we will put that there and that there and then we'll put this in here right and then this in here like so and normally then I would have us uh, all the spare time to, uh, to, to, since that's not even refreshed yet, I, I could then tend to an animals if, cro if a couple of things had finished. Uh, always, uh, before you start weeding, always try and get your whole farm already active uh, and going, all your animals fed, all your machines going, so then it's it's easy as to man maintain, because like even the minimum, like for example, uh, like the, 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 the organ will last like over an hour, so all you have to do is like when the, the cream comes ready, just kill it, like just pull one of those on, and it's real simple to maintain once you got everything going, I just had done that and then you just continue this cycle of selling them off quickly checking the daily dirt uh, like so you don't even have to do it that quickly and then you're back and ready for this to be harvested and then you'll be ready to sell them off and then eventually the advert will come and you can sell it off uh, with the next one anyway now I'm going into some more statistics uh, sorry for all the statistics it just makes it more interesting for those of you who are interested in statistics right so at level five if you were wheating guess how much you would make per hour from wheating, uh, assuming you are selling the 10 wheat at one coin per uh, per stack. You would make 5,436 coins per hour. Now that is huge. And you'd be like, whoa, that's so much. And did you know of that, 5,400 of it is from the tools because you get 20 tools per hour uh, based on the fields and how often you get the, uh, the, the thing. There, there is a pattern about that. <coughs> And which means 36 of those coins, only 36 of those in the hour, you only get 36 coins per hour 
for selling all those stacks of wheat. So then that would mean that you'd make 360 wheat in total. But the, the point is you get all your coins from the tool. See, there's another tool right there. Uh, like a nut. So that's, that's for example, uh, so I've got 270... Uh, Right, so I've got 200, so for example, every fair uh, harvest is going to give me 5.1 coins, which is nothing, uh, well, like, from, from selling the wheat, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, from last harvest, 5 coins, but I just got 270 from that duct tape, uh, game value, but to me it's worth more, and so, because uh, otherwise I couldn't find it, or I would buy it if I could for a higher price, but you can't, and so, uh, it's worth minimum 270, so if I was to sell there, for example, even though I'm selling all these right now, if I were to go and sell one of those duct tape for max price, 270 coins for, for uh, and it gets to the point where you just get one per harvest per harvest, that's actually very good but then you can see, you, can, you get 270 coins from the material and about five coins from the wheat itself. So it's not about the wheat itself. The wheat gives you nothing. But the 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 selling of the uh the the material did if you were to sell it. But I don't want to sell it. Uh, I just want to keep it. But you would have got that if you had sold it. So although I'm not going to sell it, I've still got that much value worth in my barn now. Because and I'm going to use it rather than like selling it than rebuying it. And y you know what I mean. So 270 coins there uh, for the nails and 270 for the duct tape. I probably won't get any this harvest, but then next harvest I'll get another one. Right, so that that's a stat. Right, so at level fifty uh seven uh level fifty seven, is it? Uh right, um and, and and so since it's so quick to sell the wheat, even if you're like level four hundred and twenty, you'd still you uh you'd still be able to manage. Um, I'll, I'll get onto a level four hundred and twenty in a minute. Right, so at level fifty seven, you make about ten thousand coins per hour. So although you've gone up huge amounts of levels, your actual profit doesn't go up that much because uh it, it just doesn't with the way uh the the system works and which how much. Because although you're getting more fields, you'd be like, oh, yes, well this should give me a lot more profit. But remember the fields itself uh like the wheat itself isn't giving you the profit and so it's not actually that much extra but you'd say well then it means oh so I did I got another let that's worth 403 so so there's one of each so f well so far it's been one of each so then that would uh, increase the average but I'm sure that they'll, then I'll get a dynamite which will bring the average down but then for example uh, what did I just get I just got a deed right so I sell off a deed for 403 coins that's a lot of coins but I'm not going to sell that and so I'll never I'll never have guessed that I would have made 403 three coins from that harvest. Right, so as you can see, I'm going quite well. Okay, now I can sell off, uh, advertise one of them, I'll just advertise one of these dead bushes, get people coming quicker, and then I'll go like so, put these in, and then I'll put that down. Right, so level uh, 57, you'd think they'd make way more than a level 5, but actually they, do, they don't even make double the amount of coins from wheating. But still, 10,000 is a lot of coins per hour uh, from just wheating. It, it's, it's really not that difficult. And by the way, my answer to the uh, uh, the the wheating versus corning wheating wins in my opinion based on my play style you might want the extra uh, couple of minutes to do other stuff and so corning might suit you better uh, but wheating is more profitable uh, well it gives you more of the the materials if that's what you're after and if you're wanting it to be more profitable you just have to sell uh, 10 uh, 10 for, for eight uh, eight coins instead so rather than one sell it for eight and it will always be more profitable uh, corning no matter what so see as you can see they're buying up uh, which is awesome even though he bought my ad he bought the rest of them which is all good and so uh, yeah as you know uh, corning is uh, less profitable and always assuming that you're uh, doing what um, assuming that you are selling the wheat for eight but then even if you're selling it for like seven or six or five or four three two one it doesn't matter it's it's a minuscule amount of coins that you'll get less uh it's actually you'll get if you are selling it for one coin for ten uh corning you'd get 1.18747 so just to simplify 1.2 co uh, times more coins which isn't that i guess you could say that's a, it's a lot but if you're so worried about coins just put it up to uh i, I guess you'll say slots might influence that uh, but just put it up to eight 
eight coins for 10, that should still sell pretty reasonably, uh, and, and then you're getting more from wheating. Uh, it is a bit more work, but you get more XP, more tools, more coins, why wouldn't you do wheating? But corning uh, definitely has a lot of benefits, uh, it, it's, it's still a very valid option, uh, yeah, corning is definitely a very, very good one to do, uh, it, it, and has its different benefits, uh, but for me, wheating, uh, since I'm always after the, uh, like, the planks and, and whatnot, I'm always doing that, and so I'm happy to do the little bit of extra work, uh, which means I get those, and it's, it's, it makes you the most XP, the most coins, and the most, uh, materials, so why wouldn't you do it, it's a win-win, uh, situation, right, so I'll just sell off some of these, right, so, um, Right, so from level 77, uh, the the amount of... Uh, right, so for example, sorry, from level 30 to level 77, the amount you make from corn isn't always one point, uh, approximately 1.2 times more than uh, wheat. It, it slowly goes up, so it might start off at 1.01 times more than wheat. And then it's uh, and at level 77, it hits its pinnacle, which is 1.2 times more profitable than wheat, assuming you're selling the wheat at 10 for uh, 1, and, you valued, and you're selling all the other stuff that you valued at 270 coins on average. Uh, and so that means that then... From level 77, it stays consistent and will always be exactly 1.2 times uh, more profitable than wheat if you're selling at that price. If you're selling wheat at, uh, for example, uh, 8 eight coins for 10, uh, then it will, wheat will be like one point, it will be about almost almost identical if you're selling eight coins uh, for 10 wheat. It will be a almost identical with wheat being slightly more profitable from then on, and it always stays consistent. Uh, so you'll get consistently this the same extra amount of coins, uh, like proportionally uh, as you level up. And so that is also a very important thing to keep in mind. So uh, with the wheat, if you sell it for eight, uh, for 10 wheat, then you're always going to get the better do deal no matter what, and you're always going to get more XP, and you'll have the option because you'll get, you get it given an uh, expansion, oh right, so that must be full, I'm thinking, yes it's full, okay, so I will sell off something and I will get, uh, I'll get a, a, a material, right, uh, I'll sell off two things actually, okay, and so as I was saying, uh, yeah, yeah, if you're doing the, the weeding, see, so here comes the material, right there, as I said, so another nails, which is worth 240, uh, 270, which is the average which I've been saying, uh, and so yeah, as I said, if you're doing weeding, then you get all these materials things, so you have the option to sell them if you want them, and then you're still going to get the same amount, it was slightly more than corning if you're selling them, uh, doing the wheat for 8, for 10, uh, but you can keep them if you want, and since so many people value these so much, it's far better to do weeding, because you're getting these, and you still have the option to sell them, but you're getting these, so, so then, uh, since the side, fine, then you're just getting getting given them. Right, so then that was, uh, yeah, about the level 77, and how at 8 coins for 10 wheat, it's always more profitable at any level, uh, so that's a, a good thing to keep in mind. Uh, so, also, <coughs> okay, uh, moving, uh, and I'll just check this, anything good, oh, right, that is profitable, Oh, this is a good, good store, but I'm full. Okay, so that he's selling it all at default price. Um, not particularly smart, because it means that people like me will come in and we'll just make lots of money uh, if we get the chance to buy it. Okay, right, so anyway, I'm just going to show you now the top guy's farm. I'm not doing a review, I'm just showing you uh, going to his farm, because I want to talk about his farm, because I've kind of analysed uh, this. Well, the fields. Okay, so as you can see, he's level uh, 420, which is like, whoa, congratulations, uh, pal. You've done very well. Well, okay, so he's got a total of 210 fields. Uh, yes, I have counted them, uh, but also, yes, there's a mathematical formula to work out how many fields he has at every single level. Right, so this means every time he, he harvests, uh, whatever, even if it's mixed crops or if it's the same crops, every time he does a harvest of all his fields, uh, uh, how many fields, uh, 210 fields, uh, he will get almost three tools per harvest. So he, he'll get like a, a plank, uh, a bolt, and nails just in one, it's actually about 2.7, uh, which will mean like, uh, it's almost three rounded. Uh, so every harvest he'll get almost three different items, so then that's uh, 270 times three, uh, that, yeah, anyway, he'll get that, uh, I don't know, that's almost 900, uh, about 800. So he'll get about 800 coins 
uh, profit per two minutes, and then if he sells all uh, 21, and then he'll get 21 coins uh, from, right, so I can actually work it out, uh, so that is... Uh, 600, uh, 700, 800, 810 coins, plus, uh, so he'll get 810 coins worth, uh, well, assuming he got three, he gets slightly less, uh, but let's say 810 coins, uh, for that, uh, for, for, for the tools he gets, and then he'll get a mere 21 coins, because he has 210 fields, and then he sells them, uh, for the one coin for, for 10, so he'll get 21 coins from that, which is next to nothing, so he'll get about, uh, 831, assuming he was getting three tools, he gets slightly less, so we'll just drop it back to, let's say, 800, uh, it would be slightly less than that as well, but let's say 800, so 800 coins per two minutes isn't that bad from just, uh, harvesting and then selling them off like that. Right, so, uh, it, he makes, uh, right, so as you know that, uh, level 5 player makes about 5,000 coins per hour, level 57 player makes about 10,000 coins per hour, he makes per hour, assuming that he's selling the, the, the weed at 10 for, uh, uh, one coin, he makes about 23,000 coins per hour, and you might be like, whoa, that's like crazy, because like, level 57 only makes 10,000, and he only makes like about double that, and yes, it is surprising, but that's just how it works, uh, so he makes about 23,000 coins per hour, if he was weeding and selling it at, uh, and then he'd be getting three tools per two minutes, that's pretty decent, uh, to be honest, uh, so yeah, he could like try and upgrade his barn and that, right, and so then that is, uh, one of the different, uh, things, right, cool, he's, he's, he's started, of course he has, but that's just cool, starring things, like almost everything starred, uh, everything will we start, uh, is that it, yes, that start, <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the point, so, um, if he could sell, the, now, this is a, a theoretical scenario, uh, if he could sell coins, this player here, at, uh, wheat, for 3.6 coins, for the, uh, 36 coins per 10, he would make per hour, uh, uh, no, sorry, yes, per hour, 44,000 coins, approximately, 44,000, so actually it's not that much more from the 27,000, it's 11,000 more, which actually is a lot, because, and that's the 11,000 completely from the, the extra money from selling the wheat, not from tools, he won't get any more tools, it just means that he'd get uh, an extra 11,000 per thing, right, so... <clears throat> Now I'll just do a, a very interesting uh, thing that you'd probably never guess. Right, so at level, f and the reason why I'm so pro selling uh, the 10 wheat for one coin is because it will sell quickly. If you sell it at 8, it, it probably, I'm sure it would sell, uh, but if you don't have that many slots, it's it's probably going to get full and it's not going to work. So if you sell it at one coin, you can almost guarantee you're going to go pretty well. That's why I'm always like, just sacrifice the most few minor coins and you'll be just, just, and it's just so much smarter to do it that way because it just makes sense uh, to sell uh, all the just minimize your profits by the most minimum amount and, and have a, a steady flow of selling it uh, stuff right so um at a, for a level 57 player, if you're selling 10 coins, uh, 10 wheat for one coin, you would make in a day approximately 272 coins. That is a lot of coins. That's 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 a quarter of a million coins. That that is a lot of coins uh, for a level fifty-seven player. And and for those of you around level seven, uh, fifty-seven, it would be very similar because it doesn't seem to change that much. But two hundred and seventy-two thousand coins per day. That is a lot. That's a quarter of a million coins just from wheating. That, that's all it would be like, sure, that, no way I could ever possibly do 24 hours of weeding. But if I did, I'd make 272,000 coins per day. Now, the reason why I do approximate is I actually know the actual one. I just don't want to put extra digits in there that make it even more confusing. So 272,000 coins uh, is is the amount. Uh, but it just it, it gives you an idea how much weeding can make you. Uh, and so corning would give you, uh, since you're selling it for the one, uh, corning would give you slightly more. It might give you three hundred thousand, so an extra thirty thousand. But if you cut back on that thirty, I'm not sure if it's three hundred thousand. That's a guess, uh, but it's definitely two hundred seventy-two thousand uh, for the way. If you're assuming that you know the tools are two hundred forty, and you include those plus the amount from selling wheat, which is virtually nothing. Uh, but if you're doing corning, you'd get way you get two point five times less tools. So weeding, you'd have uh, way more tools, two point five times more tools than corning. And imagine how I uh, I should have worked that out. Uh, I probably I can, but I haven't got it here with me. Imagine how many tools you would get 
if you're waiting for 24 hours in a day. It would be phenomenal amount. It would be huge amount. Uh, especially, uh, well, for this guy, if he's getting about three tools uh, per thing, right? And then there was, uh, I'm not sure which level it was. I'm just trying to think which level. I think it it might be around level 50. Uh, maybe I said it in the video. Uh, it, it's like level, it's from like level 40 to 60 or something at which you get uh, one, it, you always, it means that you always will, uh, right? Ah, uh, there we go, there we go, level 39, sorry. So from level 39, it means you will get exactly, at, at least, well, you get exactly, uh, assuming you've bought all the fields, uh, you'll get exa uh, one item per harvest. Uh, and so at level 39, yeah, you'd have a few more fields than me, so not that many. Uh, so you get uh, three more fields every two levels uh, to level 39 at least. So then uh, you'd have three more at level 33, uh, six more at level 35, uh, nine more at level 37, 12 more. Right, so 12 more. Uh, oh, yes, of course, it's 63. So when you have 63 fields, uh, the amount of times you get uh, the harvest reward at, at at level at that time happens to be also level uh, 63. So when you have 63 fields uh, at level 39, every time you harvest, you'll get exactly one item guaranteed. Every time, uh, uh, you, you just would. You'd get one item every time. And then from then on, you get slightly more than one item per harvest. So every for, you, you definitely get one item per harvest, but every few harvests, you get two items. as much, And then the top guy uh, at level 421, he gets almost three items per harvest. It's about 2.7. Uh, right, so now I'll just go uh, back to this guy, uh, and so where is he there, this guy here, uh, and, and say how much he would make in a day. Right, now if he was selling the wheat uh, for one coin uh, for ten, uh, he would make, have a, I was going to say have a guess, but anyway, uh, he would make uh, 543,000 coins per day. 543,000, that is incredible. And, and you might say, well, how, how can he keep up with all the wheat? It wouldn't actually take that long. Like, if you just quickly harvest, you know, that's 21 stacks. All he has to do is sell off 21 stacks, because that's 210 fields uh, every two minutes. And th that's reasonable. You can do that, 210 stacks. So even this guy could be doing it, and, and doing all that in wheat, and selling it uh, easily. So that's half a million coins. Right, now this is a, and so that's half a million coins. Like, I'm just like, Blowing away half a million coins from wheating. That's one aspect of the game. And on top of that, you would have so many tools. Imagine how big your barn and silo would be. Uh, it would just be like, whoa. Like, you'd go, you'd leveled up so many levels, so many upgrades in just one day. That would be incredible uh, to do that. <laughs> I dare someone, no, no, that's just ridiculous. Anyway, now if he was to sell it at 3.6 coin, uh, 36 coins uh, per stack, which isn't realistic, but assuming that people were willing to buy it, he would make over 1 million coins per day. Over one, it's, it's about 1 million, it's slightly over. But 1 million coins per day from wheating. One activity. You, that's assuming all your machines were stopped. Uh, you, you, you didn't collect, uh, you didn't do the Wheel of Fortune. You didn't open any chests. Uh, uh, nothing out, no fishing. Uh, no buying and reselling stuff. Solely, solely from just wheating. You would, this guy would make one million coins a day. Uh, and, and as you know, uh, you guys are assuming that you're selling it for, for the one coin. You'd make a quarter of a million coins per day if you're around level 57. Uh, and that would go like like probably most of you from anywhere like even if you're in the level third like even me I'd probably make near that amount because I, I, I don't know but you 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 get the idea how much you're making so and, and as you can see it doesn't uh, zoom up that much like it doesn't expand that much like the fact that a level 57 player um makes uh, a quarter of a million uh, and then the the level 420 player uh, 21 player only makes half a million not uh, uh, just over but it, it shows uh, he doesn't even make double actually so he makes uh, just under twice as much so about twice as much but it shows that from level 57 to level 421 you only get twice as much from all that way. So it shows that in between, uh, you're still making a similar amount. So uh, anywhere within like 20 levels of level 57, you'd make a similar amount. Like similar as in 
the few 10,000 of 272,000. Uh, I've got all the amounts for every single level, but I just thought level 57, uh, I don't know why I chose level 57. There was something, oh yeah, because at level 57, uh, you make uh, about 10,000 coins per hour. So that, that was a nice round number. 10,000 coins per hour from weeding, which I think is just phenomenal. Uh, and so, yeah, that is... I, th I can't believe I did it. Uh, sorry for the couple of pauses I had near the start. But, yeah, and see, look, all the people weeding, some of them, uh, probably this guy might be weeding. Oh, no, it's not a fair assumption. But actually, he he, he looks like it. Uh, it. It's sort of the continuous uh, selling. So uh, it, he's selling it for 10. As you can see, it's not... People aren't buying it uh, as much as they could be. They are still to some it like, someone bought one, uh, but you want to be selling more, uh, let's say three, so even at three, like, the, the, you'd have to, like, look at the amount of people that sell stuff, because, like, you can't just take one out of it and say, hey, look, nothing sells at three, wheat won't sell at three, you know, it, it will, it will just take some time and some people to need wheat, uh, but, yeah, if you sell it for the one coin, it's definitely safe, so that is, I can't believe like, my voice is like, whoa, like, that was, like, a lot of information to say, uh, I think I've got through the vast majority of it, uh, that I wanted to tell you. Please, if I didn't say something clearly, or you wanted to hear something again explained, uh, or you didn't hear a figure, please tell me in the comments, uh, and so I can uh, give you the answer. This is definitely, uh, as I've told you before, one of the, the most complicated videos to make to get those calculations. I can assure you uh, they are genuine, and I haven't made them up. There's a specific formula chart that it took me a long time to work out, but I worked it out, and anyway, then I put a whole heap of figures in uh, that that were actual st statistical figures, uh, and so they've gone in, uh, and so then I've come to the uh, conclusions I have and the, the figures I have uh, uh, from from doing that. A and as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of different uh, figures and a lot of different stuff uh, to know about it. It's it's a very uh, a very interesting uh, topic. But uh, as it, so, uh, corning people haven't talked about it much. Uh, it probably gets less attention. Uh, less attention than it deserves. It, it deserves more attention, what I'm trying to say, uh, because it's actually just about as profitable as wheating. Uh, it's in, and from level 30 onwards, it's more profitable. If you are just selling all the, as, all the, the this kind of stuff, uh, you'd actually get more profit if you're selling the wheat for, for one coin, uh, for the 10. And so actually, oh, yeah, another, see, that's another 270 coins, min like, statistically, according to the game, but to me, it's, it's more than 270 coins, uh, because then I can actually, upgrade a, 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 a this which is far more valuable and as you can see I got 107 uh, and I definitely you can see the different uh, skewered things um, and as you know at the very start of the game I sold off uh, some nails and now it, it's come back to sort of annoy me because now it's the nails I need that's why I say never sell these off if you can always look for other things you can sell for example even if that means I sell sheep feed and the platinum ore uh, even if it means I sell the expansion materials uh, like that and that uh, because it's better to sell them uh, also I, I need to really get to revive my trees and, and bushes in a quicker manner uh, so I can sell these uh, the soil and the axe off. Uh, I'm sure my this will almost be full, but I, there'll be some around here that I can cut down. Um, right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. All of the, oh, there we go. Okay, we can get rid of one one saw. Uh, I mean, one axe. Uh, there'll definitely be a few more if I if I go go around. Uh, I'm not going to do that now. Uh, but as you can see, that is it. So I really, really, really hope that you guys found uh, some stuff interesting about it. Uh, this video, uh, I can't stress it enough. It took so long to put together. So I oh wow. So I really, really do hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, it's yeah. I, I'm I'm going to have. Uh, I'm absolutely trying keep my video quality to the max but this uh except for the pauses and the not perfect presentation this is about the best kind of stuff you're going to get uh from me uh videos wise uh, of course i'm going to continue trying to improve but for me this is like this has been the episode that is most fascinating because it, it, it all get like it, it's a question that people don't uh really ask or think about or know how much value they get you know some people say oh weeding i can't be bothered it's just like yeah but hey power if you're level 57, you're getting 10,000 coins. Are you sure you don't want to do weeding? And so as you can see, you can just get so many coins from weeding. Uh, you'd get more coins from weeding than all your production machines and animals uh, producing at the same time.
you you would like you don't get ten thousand coins worth of production even with everything producing uh well at my level at least uh and even even at the top levels I think I think you would get more from wheating. Uh, than, than having all your production machines, I haven't calculated that, but I think that's fair to say, even having all your animals fed and all your production machines going, you'd get more from wheating, because in what situation you get, you get 270 coins per two minutes. Uh, it, it just, it, it's just phenomenal amounts, because then you like, it, it just, it, it's so much, it's so, so much, 270 coins per two minutes, you know, it might not seem that much, but it's a lot if you do that for an hour, you know, that is a lot of coins, and that is, that is excluding all the coins you get from selling wheat, not that that's that much, but then also, uh, if you're over level 39, uh, with exception of level 40, uh, but, like, approximately, uh, you get about the same, but from level 39 onwards, uh, it's, it's fair to say that it's like, you just get, you, you get, like, you're getting over over one one item per harvest, and so then you're not only getting 270 coins, but then every now and again you'll get a bonus 272 coins, and you'll just get so, so much for wheating. So I really hope that, uh, that I've answered questions about wheating and explained wheating. I tried my best. I, <laughs> I've i done everything I can and told you everything about wheating. I'm sure there's some stuff that I've missed, uh, but in the future I will eventually uh, reveal, uh, I'll do a video of all my calculations, and the formulas I use, and I'll show you exactly how I got to those totals. Uh, that's a different kind of video. That's me on a uh, computer uh, recording showing you that. Uh, this here is just sort of telling you it, and uh, so I really, really do hope it helped. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you thought of it, if there's anything you learned, and come on, you've got to learn. So there's no one, like, I can't think of anyone that would have done all those calculations like people just don't do those calculations maybe there's someone that's done it but I, I've n I'm yet to come across anyone that has any idea about the calculations especially in regard to weeding uh, and that has a formula uh, that, that yeah anyway please subscribe if you enjoyed it and learned something uh, and so that's basically just saying subscribe because who hasn't learned something it, it was very information filled anyway thank you so much for watching this video uh this is probably the longest video i've made uh definitely uh and probably the longest one i'm gonna make uh anyway thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and with that knowledge you have started the process well and all the other knowledge from other videos but you have started the process of learning how to make coins faster than honeybees make honey. So this has been Superzite. I really hope you enjoyed it. And remember to, and you've learned now how to, make coins faster than honeybees make honey.